Morning campers, back in the lakes. It looks like it might turn out into a beautiful day. This morning the higher peaks were shrouded in cloud, but it is lifting now. This is Clough Head behind us, first port of call. And the, uh, the cloud has gone off that now, as you can see. Blencathra behind me, still got the cloud, but it does seem to be lifting. It's blue skies coming over. So fingers crossed, we might be in for a good day. We've got seven Wainwrights to do today. Um, all ones that Tash hasn't done, which gets a close to 200, I think. Um, we're gonna do Clough Head, Great Dodd, Stye Barrow and Watson's Dodd, Ray's, Whiteside and Heartside. So it's a pretty big day. We've set off reasonably early. Bags of time, and let's hope that this sun comes out and we get some views. Okie doke, Clough Head, first stop. Tough little start to the day, this climb up to Clough Head. We've just decided to take the direct route up over White Pike, which looks a nice little rocky outcrop. Never been there before. Uh, done it from Clough Head the last time. So this looks pretty cool, but quite a steep ascent to start the day. But the weather, don't want to jinx it, but it's looking pretty good. The view over to the Mel's there. Great Mel on the left. Little Mel on the right hand side. Tasha did little Mel last night. Just before it went down. 17 minutes and 41. Which you think might be a world record. 
um, that gets her up to 183 now so with the seven today 190 24 remaining nearly there Natasha right let's crack on and get up to White Pike and over to Clough Head for the first weighing right of the day let's do it My mountain fitness is a little bit lacking. Spent too much time by the coast at the minute. Oh, this is tough today. We've hardly started. We're still on our way up to Great Dodd, which is behind us. Oh, views have cleared up now. Cloud is just hanging on to the summit of Blencathra and Skiddaw. But the views back down towards the corner of Dermot Water and Bastons Way. Amazing. Beautiful views. And that's just Tasha. <laughs> oh, right, onwards and upwards. Great Dodd, next stop. Great Dodd. 800 and how many? 100. 800 and 100. <laughs> Something like that. Number 185. Yeah? Yeah. 185 for Tasha. She's getting close. Beautiful now. These views, once we get up on the, uh, on the other Dodds and Rays, are going to be amazing down to Thilmer. Right, five minutes and we'll be on our way again. <laughs> We've chopped a bit of a bollock. We've just been chatting away and <laughs> walking and not even realised where we're going. 
and stay bad old daddy's here just behind me but that over there in the corner is Watson's dad and we didn't go there <laughs> so now Tasha is going to have to do a little sprint see you in a bit love oh what a skill by Anna that is not good wounded right I'll meet you at stay bad old yeah I'm not gonna make you but it's, you can't leave it there can you see in a bit I'm double bagging stay bad old dad pretty unassuming on this one Just got to go over there into the sun and then if you can make it out now looking back into the sun but pretty much centre shot there the path that goes straight up the middle that is Ray's that's our next port call I guess we'll go when Tasha gets back we'll go over to the edge here and have lunch over there both starving so I'll give her 10 or 15 minutes to run down there and back and then we'll go and have some lunch getting a little bit chilly up here now it's not bad old dad hardly a breath of wind but it's just starting to push in now getting a little bit chilly this is where Tack is down at the moment. This one on the corner. Um, pretty much centre shot there, the, the one that you can see in the, the foreground. This here. There's Watson's dad. Can't see her. Too far. I can see people on there, but whether any of them are here or not, I'm not sure. But she'll run it pretty quickly. I don't do running, so it was best for me to bring the bags up here and send her on her way. Oh, she'll be absolutely gutted that she's had to do that. What a foolish error, eh? She's back in the game. How was your trip to Watson's dad, Tash? Tiring. <laughs> you silly Billy. We just hit the bottom. And now we're going back up to Ray's, which will be our fifth, well, I'll say our fifth, the fifth Wainwright of the day. Next stop, Ray's. Oh. Two more to go now. We've got White Side just over here on the way to Albellin. Give out this wind a little bit. And then this one over here is Heart Side. That'll be seven for the day. Tasha's 190. Just starting to cloud it over now. It's definitely got a little bit chillier. Um, I think I'm gonna let Tasha go and do white side on her own. Rory's limping a little bit, so I don't wanna push him too hard today. It's been a while since we've been out. So we're gonna wait here, let Tasha run over to white side. Is that what it's called, white side? White side, yep. Over to white side and we'll uh, hang fire here. But we've got a good view of Striding edge, so 
little ledge, catch the can, and the big girl, hell valley. That's it here for a while. How long, Tash? Yeah. Oh, half an hour. Oh, uh. <laughs> Okay, one minute 48 and off she goes. What are you saying, Rory? Is she going to do it in half an hour? Not bad at all, just over 20 minutes. Those raisins. It's rain now, it is bloody freezing. Black clouds come over, it's just about 10 degrees. Whew. Tash is back, so now we're just going back down and then across the edge to Heartside. And I think we're just going to uh, battle over the edge of Heartside and uh, eventually get down to the, uh, the path that goes back into Dockray. Might be a bit of a off piste for half an hour, but it's a lot easier than retracing our steps and coming back down between the uh, middle of Hartside and Sheffield Pike. It's got to be easier, so we're just going to have a little off road.
Oh, you knocked mine off. Wow. Hundred and ninety Tash. Twenty four to go. That's us nearly down now. Just got to get through this farm and then we're back onto the road that leads up to the van. It's been a great day. What are we on now? 12 miles, maybe a mile or so back to the van, something like that. So it'll be 13 plus for the day. Tash has obviously done a little bit further with us uh, cocking up Watson's dad and she's gone to Whiteside as well. Um, so I expect she'll be over 14 for the day. Seven more Wainwrights for her to take her to 190, which is great. She has got a few odd ones dotted about on their own. So it's going to be a bit of a faff for her to mop them all up. Um, don't know which one she's going to finish on. Ling, Ling, Moor, Fell. Got the one near Blee Town. I think uh, might be a wild camp on that, but don't think she really does winter wild camping. So might be a spring one to wrap them all up. But I'll try and get her up and finish before then. Here she comes now. Right, as always, appreciate you watching if you've stuck it with us this far. Hope the drone footage came out well. Shot plenty of it today, so I expect it'll be uh, as much about that. Um, apologies for the audio. I've watched a couple of the clips back and it's been a bit crackly. I think I've got some salt over the uh, microphone ports. So the GoPro needs a good rinse out. Hopefully we can get rid of it. Um, if not, maybe. Might be doing a new one anyway. Okay, appreciate you coming along with us. See you wherever we end up next.